intro music. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to OD&D Presents A Fistful of Dice, a Deadlands campaign. And we have something very special for you tonight. We have put our regular uh, adventure on hold, and we are going to explore the newest rules released in the most recent Kickstarter uh, from Pinnacle. We're going to look at the Savage World uh, Adventure Edition rules. So, yeah. woohoo! Woo! So this is like part session zero, part one shot. I'm and so bad at, at both of those. I was going <laughs> to say, and for those of you who routinely listen to the show, you know this is the start of a six-month campaign. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> one shot that we're entering yep. like the 10th hour on yep yeah yep. <laughs> it's easier when you're all in the same room and you can like bring in pizzas and just keep playing is it it's not far yeah, that's not my experience either it's really hard to get everybody <laughs> to pin down a specific day <laughs> yeah well that's true that's true okay so so I know you already told us, but why don't you go ahead and just give the audience at home a summary view of what's different in this. So, um, the, the high level differences, both in terms of theme and function, uh, function and mechanics, uh, Suede, or Savage Worlds Adventure Edition, is much more similar to the <gasps> previous incarnation. Um, just explore edition, I guess. Well, that's not... Sorry, we have a stapler over here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just putting all the papers together so Ari can look through these archetypes, <laughs> and Skeeter just goes, Chomp! Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> and pokes a hole right through the paper. She's helping. <laughs> so... You are feeling better, aren't you? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she like pierced it like a mofo. What did you decide? I'm going with Bounty Hunter. Nice. Sorry, go ahead, Jeff. Oh, sorry. So Jeff. when you you have attributes and skills, uh, and each skill is tied to an attribute still. Uh, but instead of rolling sixty six or whatever you roll a d6 and then you get pluses or minuses off of that based on what you're trying to do and Whoa. the target number is always four okay yeah what? Uh, there, there's a few outliers to that but it'll make sense when we do it you'll see yeah. that but... yeah so uh if we look at one of the uh, character archetypes, uh, just looking at the Buffalo Hunter, for example. So if uh, that character were trying to make an agility check, they would roll a d8. And, you know, if it's just a straight agility check, it's a d8. If they get above a four, they they, they pass the check. But say they're trying to um, vault over a, a low fence, you know, kind of like in the police chases where they're running and, and like side jump over, uh, then I might say, okay, you're at a minus two. And so they roll a d8 and on as long as... They roll a d8, minus 2, and if that number is greater than a 4, they pass the check. So, same kind of thing with, 
you know, your skills. Everyone gets athletics, uh, common knowledge. Notice, persuasion, notice, and stealth. Persuasion and stealth. As per the yes. character sheet. <laughs> As per the character sheet. Uh-huh. Everyone automatically has a D4 in that. So, other hey. skills you have to purchase yourself. Uh, hindrances and edges work kind of the same way. Uh, you take hindrances and that gives you hindrance points and you can spend those points on edges, which give you certain benefits. Edges. Edges. It gives you a certain edge in a situation, one might say. (laughs) And, uh, you can take uh, or you can get more skills or or um, more cash, what have you. Gotcha. Uh, also, some some other things that we probably won't get to, but uh, are worth noting. Advances. You don't have. So in our other campaign, you get poker chips at the beginning of each uh game and you can only have 10 and and for our listeners at home you miss the 20 minutes of us going around the room going okay i've got 12 which ones do i want <laughs> oh now mm-hmm. i have 200 bounty points now i need to advance on you know mm-hmm. th- they've kind of really simplified that uh at the end of every session or every other session or every couple of sessions the storyteller GM gets to hand out advances, and so that's not it's like regular a, XP. Yeah, it it's a level up, right? Mm-hmm. So do so, we? So do we not use chips anymore? You uh, don't. Sad what, about, what about cards? You do use cards. Yes, Ari okay. got me brand new vintage cards, and I wanted to use them. Noise. Right, well, okay. Ari got me brand new vintage so, cards too. True, she did. <laughs> So we come preloaded with advances. I sure mm-hmm. do. And so you'll just we just get what? more. Yeah. So okay. So what is? Is this a time for questions? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Question and answer period. So on the edges and advances goes N N N S S S S S V V V V V H H H H H L L L L L. Okay. What are those? Okay. Fair question. So after. A number of ad, uh, advances, you go up a um, rank, essentially, from novice to legendary, <laughs> novice to skilled to something to heroic to legendary. So, veteran, maybe? yes, veterans. Yay, I did it. <laughs> Good job. Yay. Novice seasoned veteran hero. Hero legendary. legend. Okay. Okay. So after Wait for legend, wait for it. Dairy. Dairy. No, it's just legend. There was nothing more. <laughs> Jerk. Oh. <laughs> and so after Can't leave a bro hanging. X... That is such a good show. It was yes. until the end. Well, <laughs> the last half of the final episode. Let's not open that can of worms. Let's not open those floodgates of tears. (laughs) (laughs) So, some of the edges require you to be at a certain rank. And so, you get three advances. Zero to three advances, you're a novice and can take novice uh, edges. You know, four to seven advances, you're considered seasoned, and so you can take edges that require you to be seasoned or novice, so on and so forth. And okay. there's legendary, legendary edges. <laughs> um, so, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have edge back, arcane background, edge charismatic, edge guts, so I just put those in under the ends, right? And yes. then I also have Faith, D8, and Persuasion, D8, as advances as well, Knowledge, D6. So I have, like, a bunch of advances, um, Faith, Persuasion, 
common knowledge, healing, charismatic, and guts. So those, so then I'd put, just keep, I would just list them all, and then I'd be at, like, seasoned, probably. Right? Is that what I do? Yeah. Yeah, so all the pre-gens start out at seasoned. Oh, cool! Yeah. Well, that's helpful, considering I'm not. (laughs) It, It just gets you into the super cool edges a little quicker. Fair. Okay. Yeah, you're you're the preacher, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what was so, my other question? Um, I don't. We'll get to it. Whatever yeah, it is, I'll we'll, we'll get to it. I'm sure. Probably. Regarding the poker chips, you can still use them um, as tokens for bennies. Bennies. That was my other question. Yeah. What What are the What are What are the bennies in conviction? So. Uh, Benny's, but the Benny and the Jets are me singing bad Elton John. <laughs> um, so Benny's are uh given at the uh, beginning of the game by yours truly, um. And they go away at the end of the at the end of the session. So every now and then, dice rolls may not work in your favor. Um, so at the start of each session, you get three bennies, three tokens, three tick marks on your sheet. I don't really care. Uh, typically, they're represented by poker chips, gaming stones, whatever. They they make official little benny tokens. I have some. Uh, but they're discarded at the end of each session, so use them or lose them. Uh, I can award them when you guys do clever actions, specific, you know, good role playing, uh, telling a great story and character, delivering a fa- fantastic line. Think about it as inspiration in D and D only more freely given like oh airy made me laugh have a benny <laughs> yeah dan's kind of a hard ass when it comes to inspiration sometimes i just forget and it's, it's a thing mm-hmm, sure yeah it's kind of weird um yeah he is when a player draws a joker during combat everybody gets a benny Ooh. so uh, and then to use your Benny, it's the same as using a chip. You can reroll a trait check. You can recover from shaken. Um, not stirred. Not stirred. <laughs> you, you can uh, soak damage. Uh, you can draw a new action card. So that's the other thing. Everybody just gets one action card. And if you don't like it, you can spend a Benny. And get it. Yeah. Say, if you don't like it, you can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can reroll damage. You can regain power points, which is how they do casting. Uh, they really streamlined how to do casting, so everyone casts the same way. I'm gonna have once we get to that. I'm gonna have some questions. Okay. Also, really has questions. Never. Never. You- you can um, use Benny's to influence the story. Oh. Um, so you can, if you guys get stuck and want to spend a Benny to have me make a piece of evidence completely obvious, or if you want to change the train conductor's name to Phil and give him a peg leg, (laughs) you can spend That is how we would waste our goddamn thing. It is. Especially if it's like, okay, we're all getting tired, we're all getting a little silly, I've got a couple of these, they're gonna go away. Um, okay. (laughs) Yeah. So, those are bennies. Um, powers are uh, we can get their their 
in more detail when we need them, but powers yes. are spells, essentially. Uh, PP is PowerPoints. PP. <laughs> Can we <laughs> change the like, train captain's name to PP? Yeah. <laughs> yes. PP la, la I'm going to go get our chips so he's going to track our bennies. Okay, so... <laughs> For example, so I've got heal, so I've chance. got heal, holy symbol, and numb, and then it shows I have fifteen power points, and then backlash. I get fatigue, all powers terminate, and I get sin. And if I commit a sin, my powers forsake me. The greater the sin, the worse the consequences. So, um, we'll just, I guess, we'll just go, go as do as we go. Yeah. Okay. That's a good way to do it. Okay. But, um, so, you know, the, the example would be, let's say you want to, um, trying to find the powers. In general, here's how you cast spells. Okay. Choose a character. Or choose a target within range. Make your arcane skill roll. For you, the priest, that is faith. Faith, probably? Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can vouch um, for that. <laughs> oh, I need my... A I have to go get my non-binary dice. Oh, yes. <laughs> on, I've got my ace dice. It's fine. Uh, That's eight. I was trying to make a joke, but I couldn't come up with one. Um, <laughs> on a... So, you have an 8 for faith. You roll mm -hmm. it on a 4 up. The um, power activates, and you consume all the power points. Uh, you or, consume and, them all. Yes. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. So, if you have a... Um, Power, you have a PowerPoint pool of 15, um, and the power costs 5 to activate. You now have 10 points left. Okay, there's right? nowhere on the sheet to put, like, my total power points. It just shows, like, there's a place for, like, power points for each thing. Does it have... Is there a note? There's not even a place for notes. Um, Just put it to the right of effect. It's a big empty space over there. Okay. Well, okay. no. No, when there PP, isn't. When it power no, I mean, like, PP? just... Because if your total power points, couldn't you just put it in a little... Oh, because you're you're not... You don't have it printed out. I don't have a printer, you ding-dong. I'm going to just put it under conviction, okay. because... <laughs> um, there, I don't know what to put in... What do I put in conviction? I don't think... Can, I don't know what convictions are. To be oh. honest, certain characters have them. I was looking through; it so, just kind of looks like. Gotcha. So only certain characters. I does think it. so. Okay. There was like a another preacher kind of guy that I think had a conviction. Gotcha. Oh no, marijuana doesn't count. <laughs> Ar arcane types, you get three d six power points each round of battle. Oh, so there you go. So it resets. Yep. What? Resets? Every he... round you get 3d6 worth of power points. Oh! Um, realistically, this is not going to be a one shot. So we could just <laughs> no. print, print one off for Kimberly and take it to her tomorrow. That's true. That works. Because if, if I'm going to, if you guys or, are going to the yeah. park and I've got nothing better to do and I find myself at the park. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> it. <laughs> And you're all vac. All three of you have your shots, don't you? Mm -hmm. I have my first one. I get my second one a week from tomorrow. Yeah. But yes, the rest oh, of us are. Yeah. And plus, we, it, the park is outside, which is kind of what parks do. That is what parks do. That's yep. accurate. That's a statement. People aren't great about wearing their masks there, but we do tend to socially distance. Yeah, it's well, not hard like to socially distance there. That's a, that's a plus. Right. I think the the idea is you're supposed to if you if you're outside it's fine to take it off as long as you can maintain the 6 feet. And we always keep our masks with us too just in case yeah. we have to like go after the dogs or something we can slap them on real quick. Not the dogs, the dogs, but the 
What? <laughs> Slap him on the dogs. Slap him on the dogs. Because we don't know how Ollie will be. That's He's only, fair. only just going to be able to go. And I don't think he went to one before. D- By the D- way, D- folks at home, we have a new Chigi, which is a part Chihuahua, part Corgi named Oliver. And absolutely not a morality professor from... Um... Not GD. I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of, uh, what's that, what country, um, Senegal, that's where mm-hmm. he's from. Senegal. Okay. So, that being said, <laughs> does everyone figured out their characters yet? Yes. Yep. <laughs> so, oh. I was thinking next time we, uh, start, like, a one-shot, mm-hmm. we could really, really mess things up. And turn it into a drinking game where every time you have to ask the marshal or DM or GM a question, you have to either take a drink or take a shot. Oh, no. And then if you, Are you actually, trying to kill us? And then if you actually Sorry, don't I'm know, on, uh, I'm on a controlled substance medication. Um, <laughs> I'm not supposed to drink that much. And then if you don't know what to do, your character gets punished in game. <laughs> oh no! You're so mean. You, you know, I'm, it's, it's I'm a not looking bit... forward to lightning felines. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a trade-off there. You know, you can still ask questions. <laughs> You're sick. You're a sick, sick individual, Joshua. I like the sound <laughs> of it. <laughs> love it. Trying to find love it. Here in our game. There you go. You love it because you don't want to be asked questions all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to episode one of OD&D Presents Warehouse, Their House, a Deadlands The Weird West Adventure. Yes, you did not mishear that. Spoiler alert, we did not get this one shot done in one shot. We are about to get into the actual adventure, but I hope you've enjoyed hearing a bit of how the sausage was made. And um, as we said before, if we like this updated version of Deadlands using the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition rules, also known as Suede, Uh, We may decide to convert our previous game to them. So uh, let us know what you think about listening to the game with these rules. You can get a physical or digital copy of Deadlands of the Weird West, as well as any other Savage Worlds games from Pinnacle Entertainment Group at peginc.com. That's P-E-G-I-N-C dot com. OD&D Presents is a sister podcast to Of Dice and Dens, which you can find on Twitter at OD&D Pod, Facebook at ODND Podcast, email us at ODNDPod at gmail.com, or visit our website at ODNDPodcast.com, where you'll find a link to our YouTube channel, and I am actually in the process of getting that updated, so the newest stuff is up there too. I'm sorry I'm so far behind on that, for those of you who prefer watching it through that medium. Um, ODND Presents is part of the StolenDress.com podcast network, where you'll find Of Dice and Dens, Comedy on Vinyl, which is going to end in November after 10 years. What's With You, Scooby-Doo, the Dan J's Comedy Hour podcast, Hosts with Their Own Picard, The Professional Blur, and many more. So now let's have an ad for Comedy on Vinyl, and then let's begin our new adventure. On the Comedy on Vinyl podcast, I talk about comedy albums with people like Harry Shearer. It was a Broadway musical done as a comedy album. Tommy Chong. We used to go to the dump and I found a Red Fox 78. And Neil Innes. We consumed them. Once we'd learned it, we'd almost never played the record again. Some weeks, we even make comedy history. This is a Comedy on Vinyl exclusive Bob Newhart's Paul Revere. Every Wednesday at ComedyOnVinyl.com or wherever you find podcasts. Okay, who wants... Well, I guess, uh, Jeff, did you introduce yourself already? Oh, I'm Jeff. I am the GM slash narrator slash... I play everyone else. Long sufferer. (laughs) Long sufferer. (laughs) (laughs) I'm the straight guy. Um, (laughs) Like Bob Newhart. (laughs) It's true, I've met his wife. Yeah, there you go. Um, I'll go next.
Uh, my name is Dan, and I am playing a bounty hunter named Dead Man Sim Simons. He's 6'2", 210 pounds of muscle. What are you? A bounty hunter. Mm. I'm in it for the money and maybe a little bit of glory. Next. How, how heavy was your character? 210 pounds. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Lean muscle. Much. Ari, you want to go next? No. I'll, He's, I'll go Ari, next. Ari's still figuring it out. Okay. Uh, I am going to be... Oh, first off, I guess. Hello, I'm Josh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> out of practice. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm going to be playing a drifter. Hmm. Uh, the, so he's trying something different this time. Yes, I am. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Whose name is Brickery House? Uh, sorry, Brickery Hoose. And I, I have to change my name. Is... We can't have the same initials. <laughs> 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 well, I'm a bounty Whose name hunter. is Brick. God damn it! Like we he goes all... by Brick. Okay. Um, he's six three, two hundred fifteen no. pounds. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Someone's got to go home and change. <laughs> How embarrassing. Unless, unless Kimberly is also going to be a BH. <laughs> no. And is just a hardened scoundrel on the road. Okay. <laughs> I have a voice for Brickery that I'm not ready to bust out until we start playing. And if it gets annoying, we can uh, immediately... KO that. Dan is the king <laughs> of annoying voices. That's fair. So. I'm, I haven't done a Tizzle Wump yet. Tizzle All Wump right. had the most annoying voice. So we'll I... just see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> with your changes. Yes, I want to download with my changes to the desktop. Sorry. Okay. So my name is Esther Day, and I am a busty housewife. No, that's not true. Yesterday. I just had to think. I All my deadlands seem so far away. away. Okay, so Esther is a middle-aged, overweight preacher woman from okay. a tiny town. There's not much going on there. So, uh, you know, we just keep our heads down and pray to the good Lord. But I, uh, <laughs> I felt the need to spread the word beyond <laughs> the the realm of my tiny town and so I'm out in the world with my trusty cracked Bible and my my star revolver. Alright. And and uh what is your name IRL? <laughs> oh yeah, my name is Kimberly. Hi Kimberly, <laughs> nice to meet you. She is also yeah. a busty housewife preacher, so yeah. it's true. It's <laughs> she's true. A, she's typecasting. But herself. she's a, she does tarot and I'm also I'm also Bible. not married and and so hey, housewife is just a state of mind. <laughs> That's fair. That's uh, fair. I mean I could move back there and you could be There you go. You could I be mean sister wife? Y y yeah. I mean exactly I already was, pretty much am. Like at are, this point, like he does call me his other wife. So true. Yeah, but at least you haven't done um uh Christmas cards with <laughs> I mean, we have I Shannon would. Shannon in our Christmas cards, and every, we have to explain to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, I'm oh, Harry. Alrighty. Wait, I'm not. I haven't done it. Are Remember, we... she wasn't ready yet. Yeah, and I had to change oh. my name. <laughs> That's um, right. So I'm Ari. I'm in Boise with Dan. Um, I am a ranch hand. Um, my name's Lena Flatley. My nickname is Lee. And I don't know what else I'm supposed to tell you about me, but I I was stuck between this and Muckraker, and I had to go for this one because the hindrance is that you're happy all the time, and it drives <laughs> everyone else nuts. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned. I'm soups concerned. <laughs> Oh, right. Plus, I don't believe in the supernatural. This should be interesting. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Very positive and high. Like, it's okay. Very I positive believe skeptic. you. I'm sure it was just swamp gas. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, 
So do we know each other at the start of this? You... Like, uh, biblically? Well, you... maybe the, maybe Kimberly's character. Mm. <laughs> you, you tell me. It doesn't really matter. Um, do you guys know each other already? Okay, so I just decided that my character was the preacher's wife in their town, and they kind of did, like, co-preacher stuff, and, like... <laughs> And then, but he like died for somehow, and I don't know how. But she was like sad and praying, and she's like, "Okay, I've got to heal my soul. I have to go out and 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 preach the good word and nice. and fight the demons. Maybe there was like demons. Maybe there was like demons or monsters in her town. There you nice. And now she's got to go. She's got to go cleanse the world. She's got a the, calling. She's got a calling to to cleanse the world of the evil that." Killed people. Okay, I've got it. Okay. I've got oh, it. Okay, I'm glad you, glad you got it. What was <laughs> well, Josh and Ari? What were your characters' names again? Lena <laughs> Brick Flatley. That's it. Lena Flatley Brick. and Brick. My yes. original, uh, my ori- original was gonna be Blair Hin- Hinkley, but that would have <laughs> been too many BHs. <laughs> I'm I'm Bert Simons. That's like that man Simon. Rickery Hoos. Right. There's an umlaut over the. Oh. Of, of course, there is. is. <laughs> Brick- Brickery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I just I like to have people's names down so I can call them by the proper names. Oh shoot! Yeah. Like Jim Appel. I have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have a notebook. I have one near me, so I don't have to go out of my way. No, I don't. Man, I am rusty. To the RPG life. I totally forgot. Notes. You are recording, notes. right? That's wrong with <laughs> yeah, but... You can use okay. that. Okay. Probably won't take too many. Okay. There we go. I got a notebook now. Hooray! Yay. What seasoned RPG is uh, here I... without a notepad and pencil, you know? Right? Exactly. I trust Dan to take notes for me. You shouldn't. I didn't have a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think I don't want to know anybody. I'm a bounty hunter that's kind of a loner. <laughs> I'm fine think, not knowing anybody. Well, I I feel like um uh uh what is your character again, Kimberly? What is her name? Esther. Um, Esther. Esther Day. I feel like Esther. <laughs> okay, you know how. <laughs> oh no. You I'm know how again. preachers are usually and like especially wandering preachers tend to like corner people at like cafes or something and like preach to them i feel like lena cornered esther and is just talking her ear off and esther can't get a word in edgewise (laughs) what was your archetype again who are you i'm a ranch hand ranch hand okay but i'm super friendly (laughs) <laughs> so I feel like I'm just like, where are you from? <laughs> oh, I, like, I love meeting new people. We don't get a whole lot of people around here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And what's Josh's archetype? Drifter. Oh, drifter. Oh, drifter. So we Dude. got two, three drifters, kind of. I'm not a drifter. I, I, I just, I take contracts. Oh, okay. You don't go far away? I might, but I have a home. Mm. Usually. What was... Okay. I'm just a bounty hunter. I'm like Boba Fett. Oh, bounty hunter. That's what it was. Okay. Boba Fett. Boba Boba Fett. Fett. (laughs) But they call me Dead Man Simons. Because I prefer to take wanted, dead, or alive contracts, and I usually go for the dead part of it. (laughs) They're easier to move that way. (laughs) <laughs> That's one of my it's it's one of my hindrances. I'm ruthless. Bound to the bount no not that one. Um Bound to the Bount Well. Uh, Bound to the Bount Well. <laughs> uh no mercy. The poster says dead or alive, so you get paid either way. Oh you, wow. you add plus two damage when spending a Benny to re-roll damage. Nice. <laughs> so I uh I, I don't really have a preference on the dead or alive, but I tend to lean one way more than the other. <laughs> Alright. And we're on a train, you said. You're on a train. So yeah, I I cornered Esther in the dining car. Hmm. I was so. Is there so what? Please describe the dining car. Is it a buffet? Is it a restaurant? Is it a? Is it is snacks? Is there a bar? Is there a bar? What's what's the what's the sitch? How about he tells us the story a little bit first? <laughs> yeah. 
Paint me a picture, please. Well, and just a word a picture with your mouth hole. <laughs> and include a description of the dining car, But please. don't make it a matte painting. Those are a, always... <laughs> Some a of them picture are good. I could Logan's push run my good. face into and really experience. So I'm really good at those magic eyes. So like I can do the eye cross thing like easy. So if you, so, if so you talk, work. if you talk in static, she'll be able to hear it. Yep. <laughs> how how many jokes can we make so we can just <laughs> stop Jeff from speak. talking? Oh, Jeff <laughs> I, I thought he already the, left. The <laughs> Jeff went home. <laughs> Okay. I've already had two glasses of scotch, <laughs> and we haven't even started the game yet. Yeah, well, I'm I'm drinking too, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, so yes, you are on a train. You are on an Empire Rails. Uh, Empire Rails replaced Union Blue because the Union is no more. That makes uh, sense. Or. Rather, the union won, so and so there's no you don't need to you don't need to differentiate any longer. Is what you mean. right? Yes. Uh, so you're on an Empire Rails car in Nevada, heading towards Elko. Uh, I've Elko, there. I've been there. Yeah, this is kind of why I chose this this one shot. <laughs> uh, rumor has it that the uh, Denver Pacific train yards at Elko uh, are Elko, Nevada mm -hmm. ha have unclaimed freight, misrouted parcels that end up lost in vast, dusty warehouses. Uh, so yes, you are in a train headed towards Elko. You're so were we hired far. by someone to check it out? I don't we know just all... Oh, not me. I'm straight up going there to claim that freight. I, <laughs> I have freight there. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds fair to me. I'm going there because I closed my eyes and pointed at a, at a map to see where the good lord would send me. <laughs> I'm head. I'm heading that way because there's. I have a bounty there. Okay. My finger actually landed about three inches to the below it, but like it was the closest town, so that, that's probably <laughs> accurate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially at this time of uh period. Yep. I'll say there was a death in my family, so I'm going back to work on the family ranch. There you go. Okay. There you so go. conductor comes through. Uh, he's. A uh, darker skinned, uh, middle aged man. He's very chatty. Talks you guys up. Um, moves along, takes your tickets, and generally, it's a pretty easy going train ride. Um, you are in one passenger car back from the engine mm -hmm. uh, you know so there's the engine the coal box the uh first passenger car second passenger car and the the rear one is a dining car since you asked the dining car is pretty spartan it's not high class or anything but it does have wooden floors and uh, crushed velvet seats, but they're they're a little worn. They're uh, very crushed. They are very crushed. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it smells of uh, elderberries. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> tobacco smoke and burnt coffee and you know, little simple meals. No one's going away hungry if they can pay, but they certainly aren't getting a five star. Uh, Dinner. Is there alcohol? Of course. Well, then I'm back there, too. <laughs> That's where I'm at, too. And I'm smoking a cigarette. So, little description-wise, before I use my character voice, my my character looks kind of like a bulked-out uh, Josh Brolin, kind of like from Jonah Hex, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little, little taller, a little tougher, a little... I guess Jonah Hex looks pretty ate up, but 
you know, mm-hmm. not as scarred up, I guess. I'm down for Josh Brolin. Okay. <laughs> so I look over at Dan and I'm like, Bounty Hunter, eh? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if this voice gets to be too much, it's a one shot, but. <laughs> I think if you can play it as straight as you can, that voice will work. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a... I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess you could say I'm a bounty hunter. I have bounties, and I guess I hunt them down. Yeah, a lot of your kind carry around Winchesters like that. Yep. It's my... My old lady... Gertrude. I'll keep it in mind that you're a narc. (laughs) (laughs) I squint squint up at him and go, Not a narc. What makes you say I'm a narc? Well, you help the narcs. I help myself. (laughs) Sounds like a narc thing to me. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, it's starting to sound like... (laughs) <laughs> uh, what's his name from? <laughs> uh, Letter Kenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, yeah. Uh, sh- sh- Schultzy. Schultzy. <laughs> you can nope. eat my ass. <laughs> or you mean Shorzy. Shorzy, Shorzy that's the one. Go. Yep, he's Shorzy from Letter Kenny. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I, I stand up now. Uh-oh. And I just kind of move my cigarette to the other side of the mouth without touching it and go, <laughs> What are you trying to say, boy? Mm. I stand up one inch taller <laughs> and five pounds heavier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a saying, narcs are narcs. <laughs> I punch him in the narcs, face. You're I narc. punch him in the face. That's what I, I punch him in the face. <laughs> God. I just straight up take it. What? <laughs> what is the role like? I want. Yeah, I've got let's a fight. Do it. So it's a D six. Yeah. I'm gonna use Kimberly's dice that she gave me. That's a two. Yeah, you don't hit. Mm. You, you ball up your fist and you go to throw a wild haymaker and uh, brick. <laughs> Shithouse uh, is able <laughs> to take a step back and totally not get hit. Mm. Well, you're, lu- you're lucky I've had a couple too many <laughs> shots. That's a good swing you got there, partner. How about a shot of whiskey on me? Name's Brick. I stick out my hand. The name's Dead Man. Dead well, man. with the swing like, yeah, that, it sure is. All right, dead man, let's get you a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cut to. <laughs> and we continue to have whiskey. Yes. <laughs> yes. I see a kinship in someone who looks out for themselves. So as a director, <laughs> that's pretty much all I do. And, you know, maybe I was just stirring a little shit up there, but, you know, it, it's a boring-ass turn ride. <laughs> That's fair enough. Fair. All right. Esther? All right. Well, how many kids do you have? Like, <laughs> oh, you, maybe you don't have any kids? I mean, I, I've thought about having kids, and I think kids are great. Like, uh, I've... Uh, <laughs> I, I, like... Ma'am? My favorite Ma'am. kids are usually the ones Ma'am. that like Ma'am. fall out of trees and Ma'am. they climb up those trees first, and then when they fall out of the trees, Ma'am, where they do almost... you think children come from? <laughs> huh? Well, they fall out. The children don't fall out of trees, dear. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, they go up the trees and then they fall out of the trees. And I oh, think because I, I was one of those kids that would go up trees and fall out of trees again. I see. And I always thought I might want one of those. Uh, a tr- it's like a my tree. sister. No, like a kid. A um, kid. Okay. <laughs> so, what part of the country did you say you're from? I haven't been very many places. Like, <laughs> I've mostly been on this side of Deseret, but. 
but I would really love to go see the other side of Deseret. Um, it's much the same, dear. <laughs> oh, it's really? The same. Well, it's all desert. Where are deer. you from? Like, did you did you come by train the whole way, or did you take a stagecoach? I haven't taken a stagecoach since I was a kid that fell out of trees. <laughs> and I see. <laughs> I see. Did you fall a little few too many times, my dear? <laughs> my dear, my dear, how many times exactly a, have you fallen out of a tree? I don't think there's such a thing as too many times. I mean, I think sure, there might I, I be, was all my dear. banged up all the time, but, you know, that just makes your Goose skin tougher. Goose the size of, 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 of small rock, of large rock. Oh, I never could... fell on any geese. Uh, clearly, <laughs> because that would have broken your fall and saved your noggin. <laughs> But, uh, my dear, my dear, are you okay? Well, how many kids did you say you had? Oh, I've got and, three. Oh, that's awesome. Like, you and your husband must be so awesome. They wouldn't have said oh, awesome. I would prefer not to talk about that, my love. Alternate reality, Eric. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> that's awe-inspiring. <laughs> so where well, are you I... off to? Are you off to see grandkids? Oh, grandkids, I hear, are the best. I don't have I'm any not myself. Quite that I mean, old, I'm my only love. 20, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> what did he say? He posted the suicide scenes from Airplane from the one lady talking constantly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just kind of like pat her gently on the head and like try to back away. <laughs> I'm just like I'm gonna go find a. I'm gonna go find some some oatmeal, my love. I, oh, that I, I'm is just, I, that is a wonderful idea. Like I had some oatmeal this morning at the the hotel, but you know, train mm. oatmeal it just seems so much more nourishing. I don't know why. It's all the iron from the from the from the wheels. I get. I don't know. That's nonsense. <laughs> our, our, Maybe just trying to man, just trying to step away. So. <laughs> are dead man and I within earshot of this conversation? Oh yeah, it's I'm probably... sure we are. It's not. It's okay. a train car. Yeah, <laughs> I turn to him and go. Never seen a missionary get backed out of a conversation before. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh over my whiskey. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it's the best. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, we killed Jeff. Stan is starting to sound like Towley, and now that I say that out loud, it's what it's going to turn into. Oh, You're no. right. <laughs> you want to get high? Don't forget your oh, oh. Dead man, you will have to forgive my energy. <laughs> I drift around this dusty land. <laughs> well, ditto. <laughs> 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 so, I turn to dead man. Okay. <laughs> I am calm. I am okay. <laughs> okay. Did you say that you've traveled around? Look a lot? over I to them. I look. I look over to them, and I kind of like point. Is she with you? I think she needs some hail. I do that like flat-handed under the neck. Kind of back and forth thing. Like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> is she? Uh, is she? I start she going. I I got a handful chaperone. of warrants. I look to see if I recognize her in any of the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that looks like you my don't... cousin. <laughs> well, now she's being my interest. Any of the pictures. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. What does what does your cousin live in? Reno. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen him in so long. You know, Reno. <laughs> and well, so I like take this opportunity to grab like a roll and like dash away. <laughs> and right at that moment, you hear a large bang. Oh, no. Like super bang. Like it's a big bang. bang. A big bang. <laughs> That's just a theory. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna get? Oh. And the train comes to a complete and total stop. Oh, you know what? This happened to me one time. <laughs> I when thought I... you didn't travel much. Oh no, I don't travel very often. But I travel back and forth by uh, Deseret. There's a ranch right outside town that. Er- <laughs> so Jeff, there. I put is... my I put my I... hand on her shoulder and go. Let's figure out what's. Let, let's listen to see what's going on before we get too deep into this, huh? Oh, I'll definitely listen. I'm really good at listening. Sometimes. 
So, Jeff, uh, I think Kimberly and I both have the cursed hindrance. Uh oh. Um, I forgot no, to cursed, talk to you about that. Cursed was for if I was gonna take um the cook um, oh, as the okay. preacher. I don't have it. As drifter, I do, and I think Aries' attitude is cursed enough. I <laughs> <laughs> think you want to get rid of the, that bait. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, for that whole little scene, each of you get a bit. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Here you go. But for the record, I have an edge that I keep my head when things get tough. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it's just that you don't realize when things are tough. That's true. You keep your head because you don't realize it's a problem. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. So you're on the train. Train's at a complete stop. People are starting to get up and look around. There's... Is it nighttime outside or daytime? It's daytime. Okay. It's, you know, if you look out the windows, you can't see anything um, to the right or left. So it, it wasn't some sort of railroad, rail war attack. It wasn't Indians. It wasn't. All you can see is some billowing um, black and white smoke coming from the direction of the engine. Oh, dear. Bet it's bugs in people's bodies. <laughs> I've heard that happen sometimes. Doesn't this <laughs> all trains. seem kind of familiar to you guys? <laughs> the guy I picked from my profile picture has a whole photo shoot. Nice. Um, nice. So I just take the whiskey I've been sitting on, Literally. and instead of <laughs> instead of uh, sitting on the bar stool, kind of get low below the bar and <laughs> just keep sipping on my whiskey. <laughs> I, I I stand up and have my Winchester at the ready and start heading towards the smoke. Yeah, I, uh, I got I, shit I like to do. kind of I kind of like go back over towards um. Oh fuck! I don't remember Aries' character's name. Uh, but I just kind of give her like Lena. a reassuring pat Lena, on, yeah. give reassuring pat on the shoulder. It's gonna be all right, honey. Don't worry. Oh, I know. <laughs> the Lord will see us through. You know, He won't send us anything more terrifying than than we can handle. We'll I, be okay. I'm looking at my um cult and kind of like open it and close it to check it's got bullets. Oh, it's okay. I can just shoot my way out of anything. <laughs> well, I think I like to see a girl who can uh, take care of herself. Because some people will say everybody. that some people will say that we need man to take care of us and keep us safe, but that is not true. Maybe it's... just have that little old thing talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like fight, fight a laugh at that. <laughs> um. So I'm heading towards front because yeah, I in, in my in man. my past as a bounty hunter, I have found that helping people tends to get me paid. So. Ooh. I'm very mercenary, both in my kindness and in my aggression. <laughs> nice. I'm going to follow oh, Dead Man. But that's only because I'm heroic. <laughs> and I try to take care of those who can't take care of themselves. Like the people Dead Man will probably kill. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. So are you guys going outside? Yeah, or we're I guess, I mean, standing we... there eating my like eating like a roll that I grabbed, but then also I'm just like, uh, fine. Oh, I'm is this is the smoke outside, what's... or was it in one of the other cars that we could walk through? It was coming other... out of the. It was coming it, out of the. It's outside. It's outside, coming from the direction of the engine. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah then. Yeah. Whatever. My nosy makes busybody sense. self decides I need to go go investigate. You got your Bible. Well, duh. Always. Okay. And Just I see everybody else she has, walking out. She has like a flak jacket made of Bibles to protect her from bullets. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. I I follow too by take my whiskey. Well, yeah. I mean, pfft. I mean, technically, right. I, I always have. Paid. Kimberly is taking sips of her Bible, so it only makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and just like gently sucking on the corner. Most, mostly, I'm hoping to slip <laughs> away. Towel. With a yes. free whiskey because I I'm haven't a paid fruit. for it yet. Okay, right. <laughs> so when you guys walk walk outside, I help know. Esther down because she's a little. 
Oh well, middle aged. Well, lady. thank you. I'm thank you, mate. I, I kind was... of like picture like kind of like a Molly Weasley shape. Yes, but like <laughs> in like high collar black, like that eight like Victorian era. Nice, like dress, like stout wool collar up to the neck, like very like simple black. Um. Uh, maybe probably has a, I don't know, like like white like ruffles or whatever, but like nice. very like proper and together sort of look. This is what I'm, my guy looks like. Oh, nice! I posted a, I posted a picture of him in Discord if you guys want to. I saw a pic the picture Jeff posted first. I'm like, your guy looks like an exploded train. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my. Well, guy. yes, so that sexy. that is what uh, greets you and the ten or so other. No passengers that yep that get off the train with you. <clears throat> okay. The the explosion <laughs> seems to have killed the uh, engineer and the fireman um, straight out. So oh, well, Lord if, in heaven. If uh, reading any newspaper articles recently tells me anything, it's going to be three to five days before anyone's going to show up and find out what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> I do, uh, you know, I cross myself, do a little prayer, and I, I, you know, take out my book and clutch it to my chest, eyes heavenward, and just mumble. Um, can I do some sort of investigation to see if I can figure out what caused the train to, like, explode? Sure. Give me a, well, give me a... What, what skills do you have? Um, on top of the standards, I have fighting, intimidation, riding, shooting, and survival. Um, Gotta have great skills. Give me a common <laughs> knowledge check. Oh. I mean, I have that, but Jesus. Ow, 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 this is the die you gave me, Kimberly. Ow, 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 Uh, two. Two. You think that the boiler blew up. I bang on it with my Winchester a little bit. Look. See mine! No. <clears throat> uh, I think the boiler blew up. The Oh, those poor men. <laughs> the conductor sticks his head out and looks at it and nods a minute and then takes up his... Uh, Thanks, handkerchief yes. and and dabs at his forehead the first thing you notice right away is that it is nevada during the daytime and it is a bazillion hot. degrees yes it's easily a hundred degrees out here i'm used to that and he looks around and sighs softly and he says well it's a good thing we're not too far from Elko. Define not too far. I'm not familiar with these surroundings. <laughs> he points up the rails and it, about eight miles away, there's the low smudge of warehouses off in the distance. He says, it's right there. We can walk. It might take us a couple of hours, but but we can walk to town. Sounds like Had we be on, been on the train at this point? Was it like just like a short trip, or was it like we'd been on there for a few days? I guess where did you come from? Yeah. Cotton I mean, Eye Joe. Where did you go? <laughs> 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 if you're from the South, you've probably been on the train for days at this okay. point. Okay. I mean, yeah, it would be like a week. Sure. Okay. It's just like, oh, well, that's that's mighty convenient, and I kind of <laughs> give like a little like, look up. <laughs> <laughs> I I turn to everybody. I'm like, well, we best get huffing it. This guy doesn't really seem like a master at his craft. It could take longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? what? I like you. You you say it how you see it. <laughs> I clap him on the back. I'm right. starting like you too, dead man. 
Uh, why doesn't everybody give uh, me a vigor check? I don't right. want to. No. Okay. <laughs> so we roll a d6 first? If that's what your vigor is. Yep. Ooh. Hey, you rolled a 6. You get to blow that up or whatever, right? Do we? Should we yep. roll it? Ace. Still called Ace, but yeah. Oh. Okay. okay so good. what is. Okay. Sorry, just real quick. And I should take a shot for this, but <laughs> what is the blank slot next to all Good. the? Yes, I wonder. Okay. I was wondering that myself on the character sheet. Like, why do they have that as an option? To make it easier. Oh, you just type in your yeah your number. Uh, My number, like, what number would we put there? D eight, D six, D six, D twelve, D ten. It's got the little thing that you put the dot on. Yeah. So, yeah. But. For me, circling them, it's hard to read, so it's easier for me to write the number in. Okay, I got a six. Okay. So you get to... Did you have a d6 in that skill? No. Okay. No. It was a d8, bitch. Oh, damn. I got I, seven total. I aced it and then rolled a one. I got three. Oof. Gary, what'd you get? Eleven. <laughs> so, uh, dead man, mm. a Apparently. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you take a level of fatigue from the high heat. No. Um, I'm used to what I said. What part I of that know. is that? <laughs> but you're you're sweating and should have gotten some paper you, you realize that drinking on the train might not have been the best course of action. Maybe you should have taken... Well, to be fair, I also drank off the train. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Maybe I'm just some... always drinking. Maybe some water would have been helpful. I have, a, I have one flask. I had to make a choice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, I need my teeny tiny dice. Ugh. I'll just put that on my fatigue level. Boop. So oh, just do one. There we go. That's Oops. also Dan. <laughs> that argument is like if Jeff is like, oh, like you get struck by a bug creature, you can't all of a sudden be like, I'm used to bug creatures. <laughs> and not what do you mean? Damage. I can too. Bite my butt. <laughs> so stung before. I'm immune. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as fatigue goes, um, you know some. Hazard, stresses, whatever, cause of fatigue. It, it's mental or physical stress, but um, not truly an injury. Uh, it stacks, and it the three fatigue levels are fatigued, exhausted, incapacitated. So I'm pretty sure that says incorporated. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure you're right. Um <laughs> thank you. But Jeez. you know, they generally are fatigued. You uh subtract one from all of your trait rolls. Um if at exhausted you would subtract two and incapacitated your you know, suffering heat stroke or whatever. Right. Um there you go. So okay. you're at minus one for. Very well. For Very yeah. well. Very well. Very well. Gee, did, gee <laughs> did, man. This heat looks like it's getting to you a little bit. Well, I did dress in layers. <laughs> and you did have a lot of whiskey. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you know, it can be a combination of things. A man can have fatigue from two things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could be three things. I mean, there's that chick behind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little fatigued myself, I guess. <laughs> so, with you four, there are 11 other I'm passengers. I'm picturing Winona Earp, but as the character of what's his name's wife in Letterkenny. <laughs> 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 Sorry, continue. So <laughs> no, okay. So with uh uh you there are thirteen other people. There's the conductor, Halstead, um 
11 other passengers. And Can I use my Benny to change his name? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should wait. <laughs> so you really have a name you don't like. Yeah, right? <laughs> change Brick's name. Paul Stead's not bad. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> or tw- 12 other passengers. Sorry. Yeah, I, that's right. I did my math wrong. So, 12, 12 passengers and the conductor, Halstead. Okay. So, uh, no, I am going to spend my Benny to name him Ballsstead. JP Ballsstead. Okay. Now, do you want him Boom. to very clearly say the word Ballsstead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Emphasize on the ball. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Balls we are stead. we're we're feeling a little punchy, you know, shaking oh. out the dust on our, <laughs> our poor Marshall. Um, yeah, I'm glad we're not playing their normal game right now. It probably would be really rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you guys, you lot, uh. Make your way into Elko. Elko used to be the eastern terminus of the Central Pacific Railroad when the Great Quake, Great Quake put that company out of business. The hmm. DNP built a spur to Elko. These days, it's nearly forgotten. Used as a mining freight and supply center by Denver. It's pretty Pacific. much true today, too. To be honest. <laughs> and Empire Rails. The only permanent residents are rail workers, with a whopping population of 42. Okay, now that's just weird, hey, because okay. that's, that is the branch number of Elko <laughs> for Norco, is branch 42. Okay, and also, I mean... Yeah, Hitchhiker's I mean, uh, I, I mean, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm uncomfortable now, Jeff. Okay. (laughs) I'm just reading the cheat sheet. Uh, (laughs) There's not much to do in Elko besides the sprawling railroads and dozens of warehouses lined up in the sweltering heat. Five buildings are dedicated to housing many more workers than live here now. They contain barracks, a mess hall, privies, and so forth. Um, nice. Although Elko's warehouses contain hundreds of pounds of ghost rock and various mining surpri- supplies. Surprise! Um, <laughs> mining <laughs> surprise! Uh, they aren't even guarded. It's hard enough to get to Elko, much less get back out with, uh, with enough fundaments to make any difference. Hmm. Supplies, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sunrise, motherfucker. <laughs> Some fries, motherfucker. <laughs> Pumpkin pies, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm definitely looking over all those supplies. Like brain is just cooking from the heat and trying <laughs> to figure out a way to, you know, pinch pinch a little off the top there. Um. So, uh, is there, like, I mean, I know it's mostly workers, but there is is there some sort of law enforcement type office here? Nope. There's okay. 42. The, the only law enforcement is the uh, rail warriors. It, it's sure. DNP's law. Well, it's, it's, I'm a bounty hunter, so they could have put a bounty out. I'm just That's I'm here true. because I had a bounty. So that's I'm just looking for whoever I would need to talk to to get some more clarification on it. That's true. There is a um Actually, why doesn't everybody give me a common knowledge role? Because I'm bad at it. That's why. <laughs> okay, oh so ow, 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 do we roll ow, 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 a d six for it? <gasps> yeah. I got a four. I get to roll. Even it. though I have ow, a d four, then it. Oh no! You roll a. 
Okay. Oh, okay. oh, I forgot. I the aced one. it and I got a nine. Yay! I got a six after acing it. I got a three. I thought I thought we rolled a d6 and then we rolled how many dice from that? No. I, Actually, I I've been it. having you guys roll wrong all the. All oh the time. no. Okay. So, well, what? You, as wild cards, get to roll a wild dice with anything. Wait, who are wild cards? All yes. of us? Yes, you're all wild cards. Oh. Player characters and um, big villains are wild cards. So what do we roll with it, you said? So for a common knowledge roll, you would roll a d4 Which plus a wild die of a d6. Okay, but my common knowledge is d6, so do I roll a d6? You d6. roll two. You roll two. Two d6. Why do I roll? Oh! Because we're wild cards. It's Wild card bitches. Okay, okay. So, so on my I... first, when I did my first d6, I got an an ace and then a three. So I got a nine on that one, and then a one on the other one. Okay, so That's you ten. got a nine. <laughs> Do I add them together? No. So no. So I got a nine. Okay. Yeah. So what the wild dice die does is it's a fail safe essentially, right? In the event that you don't ace a your standard check you get the wild die and that helps you uh it, it's a luck factor well i got a six on this but can i re-roll my fatigue then <laughs> can sure. i roll a d6 for that just sure. to see but you don't get to re-roll your punch no Never no i hit me no. <laughs> uh i got a four. it's the basis of our friendship <laughs> don't do this to so me. if i have a i, have I would a... never huh so i got i got a so for my fatigue roll, I rolled a four instead. Do I still have it? No. <laughs> okay. Yay! You know what? I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> okay, so I got wait. I got a six. So if I I got a two on my regular on my d four and then a five on my wild. Then you have card. a five. Oh. You take you the ended highest. Up with a five. Okay. So it covers oh, your butt since you got okay. a two. You got a five instead. Cool. It's like a now bonus. I get it. Yeah. We, Okay, I got a three. Okay. So you didn't... Who? Okay, who all got above a four? Me, Harry. Yeah. So everyone not Brick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like it. Okay, so you recall one of the your fellow passengers um, was reading uh, an article in the Tombstone Epitaph, and he was kind of just talking you guys up. He said um, that uh, he was reading an article about the warehouses in Elko in the Epitaph, and that there is unclaimed freight in some of these uh, warehouses. I mean, that's great and all, but I want to kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my character. <laughs> As I, feel, I feel like that was the drive for me to come here. <laughs> yeah. As um, other passengers remember this, uh, and it's uh, discovered that you are stranded here in Elko for seven days, some mm -hmm. of the other passengers decide that they're going to spend their seven days um, uh, pilfering through warehouses. The Denver Pacific workers, however, quickly dispel that notion, insisting that Elko's warehouses are off limits. You are welcome to spend uh, these next seven days however you wish. But there is no hotel or saloon in town. So basically all you have are the barracks in one warehouse. I thought the warehouses were off limits. Exactly. And the warehouses. <laughs> I grab I grab dead man by the collar. There's no saloon! It's a drive town! <laughs> I stomp. Some bitch! <laughs> and I take out my flask. Can't believe it. 
<laughs> you better be careful. <laughs> he goes back on. <laughs> takes all the whiskey bottles off the train. Oh, man. I, I lean I just... over to break and I go, I've never been in a dry town. Even the <laughs> ones that say they're a dry town. You just have to know the right people. <laughs> I'm afraid he's right. The sin will get in no matter what you do. <laughs> she takes a slip from her flask. <laughs> <laughs> I never. <laughs> oh, do you want a sip of mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus protect you, my child. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't believe in all that. <laughs> <laughs> I make the sign of the cross and huff off. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna find someone to preach to. Where, where are you going? There's no saloon. <laughs> As if I would ever set foot in such a wretched place. There's no tavern either. Really, that voice is on point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. So we have a barracks in the warehouse? In the station? Is there at least a chapel? No. What? You've got... Well... <laughs> We're all disappointed. Join the club. <laughs> now I'm pissed. These people... Well, I, I was fine with the not having the evil spirits, but they don't have the Holy Spirit <laughs> While she's talking, I walk over to a pile of rubbish, pull out a crate, put it down, and <laughs> it says Johnson's soap on it. I want you to go ahead and have a stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I I guess I would use my note notice. I don't know. I want to scope out the warehouse cuz this is why I'm here. Okay. Would that be the correct role to use? Notice uh, or notice? Yeah, notice is probably right. Um, yeah, yeah, we can use notice. Or you know, just see if I notice anything going on. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, ten. Mm. So, uh, oh, excuse me. I rolled my two d sixes. I aced it on my regular one. I'm using specific dice for my lucky one, and uh, yeah, so it's a six and a four. All right. So you see, um. Oh, I have a plus two to common uh, knowledge. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> you see four other... So, you're awake one night, kind of looking around, doing... Contemplating which... Uh, you know, watching where the workers come and go to see... <clears throat> which uh, warehouse you're most likely to be able to break into and... and uh, without being noticed even though uh the workers said they're off limits most all of them don't have any guards whatsoever and, and lots of them don't have anybody going in or out of them hardly at all but one night you see four of the passengers that you uh were were with sneak out and from the barracks that you all have been assigned and one lights a lantern and from your your perch in the i'm I'm imagine you kind of sitting in a window like whittling as you see these four scurry off with their <laughs> lanterns down down an just, alleyway and just daniel see just dan sees this or everybody but josh is looking yeah. Oh, Josh is looking. I'm yeah. sorry. Don't don't worry. I'll relay it. <laughs> Maybe so, not to you, so Kimberly. Just, no offense just, here. Just so art. we know. So just so everybody knows, like I'm using my downtime to like 
try to get together like a Bible study group for the, <laughs> the, the, the like railroad workers. I'm trying to get them to like join me in like a prayer circle. How's that going? <laughs> it's not probably not going well. <laughs> I've got um, one guy who's just like politely curious and another one who just thinks it's hilarious. So Jeff, you're totally the marshal, but could Kimberly roll a spirit check for how well it's going? Uh, and how I think that's people? a good idea. I think that is. <laughs> you right. to do right. your bonus die. Yeah, oh, I get to roll it. a bonus die? Yeah. So any of your trait ones, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, got a four. Um, that's the that's the number. Yay! <laughs> So, you get, of the uh, 42, you're, you're out there on your soapbox <laughs> preaching the good word. Can I get an amen, brothers and sisters? <laughs> yes. You get four rail workers to oh, dang. Uh, show up. That's four souls saved from the devil himself. <laughs> well, two of them you're pretty sure are there because one of their friends said there was free coffee. And... <laughs> punch and pie was going to be served? Yeah. Punch and pie. <laughs> well, That's all right. Pie. At least his ears are open to the word of our Lord and Savior. One sitting there picking his nose. I mean... <laughs> That's the that's one of the few orifices that we approve of. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so one is like now a converted true believer and might Hell have yeah. might have a crush on you. Yay. <laughs> the other one dragged his two friends there with promises of free coffee. And the two who were drugged are just like totally not interested in anything. Uh, you know what? Say. I don't even notice. <laughs> so, so Mr. Jeff. Yes. I have an edge called Streetwise where I can move among all manner of desperados. Mm -hmm. So I gain plus two to common outrolls and networking among disreputable company. So I kind of want to mm -hmm. just insinuate myself among some of the sketchier folk okay. and find out, just get some information about what's going on around those okay. things possibly similar right. to the four people he saw running around the alley or whatever cool and before we get into that how many warehouse buildings are there i guess because i thought there's just one big one there are uh dozens of warehouses lined up okay in rows yeah, because I figure I'm if I'm here and my bounty's not actually here, I might as well get paid for something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, roll so I'm going to roll your... common knowledge. Okay. Which I aced. <laughs> aced again. <laughs> Good lord, dude. <laughs> so that's a 10 plus 2, so 12 common knowledge. Jeez. So <laughs> you're able to find pretty quickly... <clears throat> uh, where the underground bar is that is it, it's completely off limits the supervisors don't know about it it is essentially a barrel <laughs> full of whiskey and three guys is that um, like a code word or something yeah something like that and, and they all look at you very suspiciously but after a few I drinks smile. yeah after a few drinks they fall in with you just I'm fine you. Mm -hmm. and uh, i'm sorry but i ship him in brick <laughs> <laughs> and so now you have three i wouldn't call them friends but Compete. People who are you willing might to not. talk with someone you. else might. <laughs> they I might. Call them <laughs> Ouch! Drinking buddies. Dead man's soul is crushed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm a dead man on the inside as well. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what do I find out from them? Like one of the better oh. warehouses or whatever? Yeah. So you know that <clears throat> there has been a lot of commotion 
recently. Oh, I thought you were gonna say commode. I don't know why, but there's uh, yeah, uh seventeen commodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was oh, for the some... town of that many. Well, I guess that's a pretty good ratio of <laughs> toilets to human. To <laughs> well, anyway, continue. One one of them tells you that in the. Oh, I just have to do this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Lord, forgive me, but I have Esther, to. Esther, pray for him. Oh, you are forgiven. <laughs> if you seek Don't... it, you shall find it, my child. The, uh, in the 13th warehouse <laughs> is where they store. Warehouse 13. Okay. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> Is where they store all of the uh, unclaimed freight, missing articles, and other knickknacks of of worth that come through Elko, and you know, most okay. of them are just in boxes. Uh, they're they're not o- open, you know. They had gone in poking around before. That's where they found the barrel of whiskey. You know, it's... But nobody ever really steals anything from Warehouse 13. Because where would they go? How would they get it out of there? Hmm. So if it's not something that can be easily used, um, it just goes there and collects dust. Gotcha. But... They also caution you. One of you, one of them cautions you not to go in after dark, but doesn't mm. really explain why. Um, mm. It's because the gremlins <laughs> don't uh, add water to warehouse 13. And don't <laughs> so feed it after midnight. Warehouses. So I, I top up my uh, flask and thank my new friends, um, Griffin. Clark. You <laughs> said Travis. I was going to laugh my ass off. And Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> for that. Like, good good to know that I should probably stay away from there during the witching hour. Um, I head back to Brick. I think you should. Well, I'm not there, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, I go over to Br- I, I go back to Brick. Who's just kind of whittling and watching people walk around, just <laughs> sitting in the sitting in yes. the dark, <laughs> watching he, he out the window. He made a whole falcon. I go, <laughs> hey, I found the bar. I, I also okay, huh? Sorry, go ahead. I also, <laughs> I also found the stuff. Uh, before I answer, what did I see? The few passengers you mentioned, like, the, like you said, they're yeah, you were going in. They were going yeah. into a warehouse. Did I notice which one or how much info did I get from that? Um, it was warehouse thirteen. Okay, so the same information. And, uh, <laughs> you you never saw them come back out. Oh damn! Ooh. Okay, how long have <laughs> they been in there? Too long. So is five minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> as soon as dead man, dead man's dead man, as soon as dead man steps in, it's uh, pronounced tells me Dumas. That. It's, it's Simon Deadman. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he steps in, tells me that without even looking at him, I'm still watching out the window. I lift up a little wooden carved skeleton. Mm-hmm. I'm like, here, it's you. I carved it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! How did you carve it so that the joints wiggle? <laughs> <laughs> Old whittler's trick. Now let's go get some of that whiskey. I saw some folks go into warehouse thirteen, and they never came back. That's the uh, that's the special one. I think if we're going there, we should go at night because it told me not to. <laughs> Isn't it night? Nice <laughs> that just that just tells me that that's probably you know they might be there, so we might need some extra hands. I, I thought Jeff you know said it the... was nighttime when when he saw that because we were all like supposed to be sleeping or whatever. But the guy told me not to go there at night. Yeah. Okay, but you just said we should go at night, and I thought it was exactly, now. which means right. now. Okay. Okay. Listen, 
we are devious folk. Like, we're a little bit, you know, less reputable than uh, the one guy that is your now follower and has a crush on you. We don't have a bedtime. So. I mean, that's fair. I just want to make sure we were all on the same page. <laughs> they can stay up past midnight. <laughs> yeah, 9 p.m. And I went to bed at 7.30 like a, like a, you know, good good something, you know, because so it's, we say... don't. Because that's when you go to bed, because you got to wake early to do your prayers and your chores. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would say uh, we got a couple friends perhaps we can hit up in the morning, find out uh, 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 whether or not we can have a few extra hands. <laughs> and then when they say no. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll, uh, we'll hit up those idiots that followed us from the train car. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking just the same thing. It's good. Good night they sleep. Be, they could be cannon fodder. Let's let's go get you some whiskey. The password is Penrose. Penrose <laughs> sounds good. I'm starting to get the shakes. <laughs> and you can <laughs> see the oh, next Jesus. piece I'm trying to whittle is nothing near <laughs> the level of mastery <laughs> that <laughs> what I gave you is. So we go. We go get him some whiskey, and then we just kind of sleep among the stars, I guess, for the night. Have a little nightcap and tuck yeah. ourselves in wherever. Who's the big spoon? <laughs> I'm an inch taller, so it's he's me. taller. He's taller, so it's gotta be, he's got to be the big spoon. Otherwise, it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> Dead man, it's pretty cold out here. You know, we should get close together, share each other's warmth. <laughs> What I've heard is if you take your clothes off and get skin to skin, it's warmer. Yes. Was that was it, without a paddle or whatever they did that? Yes. <laughs> Put Java back in his hut. <laughs> as as we so take much. our clothes off, I look in Dead Man's eyes and I go, is this really happening? <laughs> <laughs> We're spending the night. To keep warm because it's a oh. desert climate? Yes. <laughs> Can we what cuddle you together thinking? in a pile of clothes? We <laughs> <laughs> don't have blankets. <laughs> don't make it weird. It doesn't have to be weird. <laughs> We're just two grown men naked. Naked under some clothes in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> to keep for keeping themselves warm. It's just practical. <laughs> <laughs> platonic. It's, it's just, just common pair, it's sense. Just, it's platonic nudity. Don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the cop comes up, uh, and then there are no cops. Establish that. What? There's no cops. No cock. Yeah. No cop. <laughs> and then the rooster crows. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> so the groundhog stayed, One stayed in his rooster. hole, Barry. Oh, good. <laughs> so you wake up <laughs> the next morning and... You, I get dressed while making solid eye contact so it's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> you you start to hear rumors about how the four from the night before um haven't come back. Nobody has seen them. Nobody knows where they're at. The good news is the population is currently still forty two. Hmm. Well, forty two plus you. Uh no, because it was forty two, four people left, four people joined us, and now it's a forty two again. Wait, uh, so are we counting the 12 there were like passengers? There were like 12 of us, though. Hold on. Yeah, oh, that's are the 12 16, passengers guess, and conductor altogether. part of that 42? No, so there's four, 42 plus 12. I need a whiteboard. Hold one. on. <laughs> 42 plus 12 is 54. Beautiful minus. Plus the conductor is 55. Plus the... Four of you is fifty nine. There are fifty. I don't think the economy of the city can support us. <laughs> and That's there's a only way seventeen too much of a population toilets. increase. <laughs> We've increased the population by over twenty five percent. I don't think it's sustainable. I don't know. I think seventeen toilets is still a pretty good thing, unless like somebody <laughs> like really beefs it, making the chicken stew. Rick's just like, what's a toilet? 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go find some folks and. Uh, so here's my here's what I here's what I'm thinking. Okay, for I think the the lady, the young one, the mouthy one, I think she'll just I think she'll just if we talk to her, she'll just end up with us there, because <laughs> she'll just be talking the whole time. <laughs> um, now the old lady. Here's what I'm thinking. God. We tell her that we heard that the uh, 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 the cup of, of Jesus, whatever it was called, I don't know, it's not my thing, uh, is there. Or maybe like that Ark thing. I've heard about that yeah. before. They're, they're in this like warehouse and that she needs to find that. Jesus told me so. How does that yeah. sound? Does that sound good? Yeah, or I could just tell the truth and say four sinners went in there last <laughs> night and never came out. Do you, do you also, think I could tell the truth that I had a bedroll this whole time. And I <laughs> zip up my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it was listed on my inventory at the beginning of this. <laughs> I didn't have one. <laughs> Oh, I have a bedroll too. Good job, me. Oh, I also have a guitar and a horse. I have a horse. What? Bedroll, Bible, canteen, guitar, guitar, horse. I have riding, but the uh, the, the the horse is not there. He was on. He would have been on the train. Yeah, yeah. and I would have brought him with me because he wouldn't have exploded. He wouldn't have been in the engine. Maybe he was. Maybe that's how the reason. The, <laughs> what the reason? The power of the train. Jeff, do we have our horses? You know what? My inventory doesn't have a horse in it. I well, don't have a horse or a bedroll. Dan doesn't have a horse. I just have ride. I have the ability to ride a horse. I don't have a horse. <laughs> I have a horse. According I can to my inventory. Sleep. I don't have a bed. <laughs> I have a bedroll, a horse, a Bible, and a canteen. And a guitar. Wait, which one are you Most of my bounty honey takes 24 hours. Stay what tuned. That, Dan, Jeff? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I was just checking to see which one you were using. Bo- bounty hunter. Yeah. He has a Winchester, two Colt Frontiers, a bandolier, some ammo, and a stack of warrants. I forgot I had. That's the entirety of his gear. Because yeah. <laughs> I also sorry. The gun for hire gets a Colt Frontier, uh, Winchester, <laughs> seventy six, and a horse and a Bowie knife and forty eight dollars. Yeah. I don't have that. I have more so, money though. I have 174 bucks. Nice. So I, I also have a canteen that just totally slipped my mind to offer you, Dan. <laughs> you were <fatigued. laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I guess you are a drifter. Thinking about <laughs> yeah. people isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind for you. <laughs> yeah. So where did uh Lena and uh, Esther sleep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Esther had her her following of four little Bible study there. So what did Lena do that first night? She's used to sleeping on in the out on the range, so I'm sure she just she likes sleeping under the stars. So maybe she was just outside. <laughs> <laughs> I love how there's perfectly good barracks, and you guys are like, nope, fuck this, I'm sleeping outside. If I, if I <laughs> sleep in the barracks, he's gonna call me a narc again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, he had a bedroll. Yeah, I don't know how to... And he had a, or he had a bedroll, and he had a, 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 a canteen. <laughs> What's wrong with that? He didn't share either with me. <laughs> oh, I see. You got him into bed under false pretenses. Okay. Pretenses. So, yeah. so the canteen was the total slip on my part in real life. But the Does bedroll... that have water or more whiskey? <laughs> I just... I brick wanted to get naked. <laughs> I thought, oh, dead man doesn't drink water. <laughs> well, he was in the heat <laughs> dying. All right. So, so I guess we walk up on Lena first, and she's just sleeping in the streets too. No, I'm already awake. Okay, she would Wait, definitely so it's morning, be right? awake no, before. I, you walk up Esther. to. 
Is, is it morning uh, now? I'm talking or is to it uh, some other still. random person. Yeah, it's morning now. We slept the night. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. Well, I've, I've never been past the other side of Deseret. I've only been on this side of Deseret. But, you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I'm more than willing to go traveling. I mean, it's just I like the range and I like being a ranch hand and I like doing this. And, you know, someday I'll get to travel. But, you know, until... Range ranches end up in the other side of Deseret. It might as well just stay over here. <laughs> they look visibly ill. <laughs> Morning, ladies. <laughs> oh, hi. How did you guys sleep? I slept great. <laughs> there is such a nice view of the stars. Like, I mean... Uh, Deseret is great and all, but over here, there's just, like, less light pollution, which I'm surprised there even is. It's the Wild West, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, and uh, are you there, Esther? Is that who she was uh, talking no, to? No, no. No, I was no, just talking I'm, to some rando. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm holding Bible study. I'm sitting, like, we've got some chairs, like, out in the morning sun. Sitting outside, like the dining, the mess hall, or whatever, and and I've got my Bible open on my lap, and I'm I'm reading um, a passage from the New Testament somewhere, um, some para, para I was gonna say para, you know, like pa- I was trying to do like parable, so I, so I was like parabolic. I was like, that's, no, that's yeah. not right. <laughs> no, that's a microphone <laughs> on a different game. Ow. It's some some like story about like falling into vice or whatever. Gotcha. My favorite story. Ow. Okay, so we, uh, I, 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 uh, I'm just, we're, we say hi to Lena and we just start walking towards where you're sitting with your circle because we know that she'll just follow like a duckling yeah. telling us a story. <laughs> As I'm telling the... Yeah, while you talk about it. Yeah. Oh, I think Esther's over there doing a Bible study. Bible is a really long book to read. <laughs> so I, you know, I've started it a couple times, but, you know, it's much more fun to talk about it with people. <laughs> Have you gotten past second Genesis? Hey, Esther! <laughs> I look up and I, I, I beep and I, I and I like gesture. I'm like, oh, brothers, you've decided to come and join me. I'm sorry, we don't have enough chairs, but the ground is it's hard and it's sturdy and it's it's a little dusty. But we're all children and we're all going to return to the dust someday anyway. So come join us, please, well, please. We are we are I, just Matthew was just telling the story. We, we were just telling the story of Matthew today. And I, uh, <laughs> and yes, can I? How can yes? Come join us. Come join. I I nudge. Dead man, and I go. Well, God created the earth, and that's good enough for me. I sit oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that is absolutely true. That is that is so inspiring. So, oh. um, I mean, I would love to join you in a story, but we have a pressing matter we need to discuss. And I and I and I place my hands down on the book, and I look at a more pressing, a more pressing need than your eternal soul. Are well, you saved, my yes. brother? For Dan, other did we decide souls. on a plan? Because I, I, <laughs> I'm just I'm going with I'm going with what you said. There's four okay. eternal souls that disappeared last night and never returned. Oh, oh, sweet, sweet Lord Jesus! And I do another sign of the cross, and I'm oh, where did where did we think they went? Have they fallen into the drink? They, we are nowhere near a drink. Um, <laughs> actually, there's an Elko Lake. Um, no, they uh, they went into a warehouse. <gasps> yeah, Not the and, warehouses and... they said were off limits. The now, one in the same. <laughs> now we were told, expre- expressly told that those were not for us to. Yeah, and I listen when people us. tell me stuff. Like I do not. Listen. I always, I always take what people say, and then I turn it over mm. my head, and I'm like, I weigh the pros and cons, and I think, okay, they will know better than me, and so I listen to what they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is, is persuasion the same as lying in this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's bad news for me. Okay, well, I have a lie. For Esther to say that I heard them talking about going in there to do some sinning. Oh, okay. Oh, no. oh, no. Like laying sin- skin to skin? <laughs> oh. I 
I may think Come some on. things are, are sins, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that kind. Now, you're, man, you're lion with homophobic. Man, man, lion with man. I've got no problem with. It's man, lion with man out of wedlock. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man, lion with man, lion, lion with man, lion with man. Oh. I mean, as long as they're consenting adults and, and blessed by the eyes of the Lord, what they do in private Wait, is their business. This so, is in Deseret, so we don't have polygamy. <laughs> I hey. aced my D4 and then rolled a 2, so I got a 6 total for my persuading and what I Did was Did you roll your D6 say. as well? Yeah. Okay. And trust me, my D4 rolled better than my D6. Um, <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, okay, so... I, I found something I don't like about this. <laughs> What's that? I don't like that it's shooting, riding, fighting. Uh, <laughs> fighting, shooting. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Noticing. Uh, Noticing. <laughs> Persuading. I don't, I don't know Stealthing. if the six <laughs> will be... Oh, wow. So I didn't even notice that. I totally typed it out the way... So I have fighting intimidation, you know, I wrote <laughs> it proper. Mm. Um, oh, good. Yeah, I was going to say something along the lines of like, so I don't know if I'll get away with it with the six, but Esther, I heard those four men talking about going in there and gambling and sinning and oh. talking all sorts of bad matter. Clutch my chest. So what in a, the Lord's what name in vain. I <laughs> I'm gonna. I believe I heard them say hell before they walked in. <laughs> so, oh, sir, oh honey, it, I've said hell. worse myself. So, what they uh, said, God hell. <laughs> no. So, no. <laughs> are are you just gonna take this at face value? They're trustworthy <laughs> folks. Or are you gonna try and call their bluff? I mean, God is hell. there like something I would potentially roll? Yeah, I. I would say roll your um you would be on the defending side of a of an opposed role. So okay. you get to roll a persuading or persuasion roll again. Um and if Brick's score is higher than your score, then you believe the lie. Okay, so I've got charismatic people like you. I get a free reroll when using persuasion. Oh, but I'm I don't screwed. know that I don't know that that would really apply, right? Because I'm not I would like think so. It would. I'm not okay. It would. Yeah. So you you get your regular roll and your wild die. Okay. I got a two on both of them. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I mean, I'm fine with just believing him. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm just like, I like stand up and I and I and I snap my book shut and I so and I look around at my circle like, brothers, there are those that need our help finding the light of the Lord, and so we must put Matthew aside. But tonight, God willing, if we've saved those sweet souls, we can discuss Luke. I take my hat off and put it, and like I hold it in my chest and nod. <laughs> and then I, and then I, and then I, lead the way. And I like pull out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say don't go my, with her at night. So <laughs> I, I kiss two fingers, my index and middle finger, mm -hmm. uh, and then up in the air, and then touch the ground. Like ah, oh, yes. <laughs> After arriving in Elko, Nevada, and having an awkward night's sleep, our posse is prepared to investigate the mysterious warehouse. Will they find treasure, or will they disappear as well? Find out next time on OD&D Presents Warehouse, Their House, A Deadlands Adventure. <laughs>